Mike, this is special, man. Special day, man. Yeah. How long is this? Uh, five, five, six months, man. Yeah. Back together. Back together. Oh, Mike a little in. At the movie theater at that. Yes. Yes, we are. About to go so see Mike, the movie. We, we're about to throw in some a bunch more content now we can see each other, right? Tell these people we're gonna bring them some movie reviews in person when we can. We're gonna movie do reviews, uh restaurant reviews. Yes. We'll uh go do activities together, yep. all on the big mic and little ant channel. You know that you guys been uh and thank you for all subscribing so far. So, Thanks so much. There we are. Very, very all excited. Right. Yeah, Mike isn't playing. He sprayed everything down. <laughs> All right. Look, we got our snacks. Woo. What we got over there? Where we got over there? Oh, man. All right. And Mike got his good popcorn. His skinny pop. Right. Give me on my skinny diet. Fair enough. And Mike, how much How much uh, weight did you lose so far? Uh, 72 pounds. 72 pounds. Yeah. All right, we're just coming out the theater. We're about to give you guys a review. All right, we just seen the New Mutants movie. Um, just finished. Um, we want to definitely give you our review. Uh, let you know what the movie was about, our thoughts, and then we'll give a final score, like we always do. Um, so it's about five teenagers who were in this facility um, because they have mutant powers. Obviously, we're not giving. We're not, we're not, oh yes, yeah, so no spoiler review. Spoiler free. Yeah, we'll have a spoiler talk, right? Yep, spoiler uh, discussion. Well, as well, uh, coming later. So, uh, I thought it was okay, you know, from the Sony and, and Newton uh, uh, side. I thought it was better than, like, let's say, X-Men, um, uh, Dark Phoenix, and stuff like that. Okay, okay. But I thought it still wasn't as good as all the other X-Men movies or, like, even Logan and stuff like that. Um, I thought the movie would kind of, it, it developed a little slow for me. I would say throughout, it lacked a lot of action um, within the movie, yeah. and also I would say that's like some of the things were unexplained to me, which we'll get into in the spoiler, spoiler discussion. So. Yeah, uh, I want to say I agree totally with Mike. Um, it was very slow, and uh, it definitely didn't have as much action uh, from the trailers. I didn't think it was going to be action packed, but. It was, um, it didn't fulfill me as what I thought. Like it didn't meet my expectations. From the trailers, I thought it was gonna be something a little bit different or have a little more substance. So I felt like um, they kept really light on character development and Very, stuff. And yeah. yeah, so we'll definitely get into that in the discussion. But uh, it was good. I think um, they're setting the scenes for the Marvel, Sony universe, uh, setting the scenes to do a lot. But this movie um, will leave you feeling like you want it more. I, I'm gonna say that um, I feel like some of the uh, relationships, or a certain relationship, I feel like developed too fast for me. You know, mm -hmm. w w within the context of the movie. Um, I'm gonna also say that I feel like just to go up to the movie history, you know, it's supposed to come out like two or three years ago, and right. finally came out now, right at the tail end of movie theaters opening. I think if it would have came out years ago. It would have been just a nice little movie within the realm of all these other movies, but right. then like the first movie came out like after the pandemic, I think it disappointed a little bit, stuff like that, in my opinion. Stuff like that. Also, a lot of talk about the movie for so many years, it kind of like by the time it came out, you're like, all right, you know what I mean? So this yeah, I think that is uh, something to be said. Uh, I wanted to see this movie a while ago, so finally I'm seeing it now, and I kind of feel like. We don't have that big pop for movies right now. We're not like, oh my God, oh my God. It's kind of like, all right, you're throwing me a little bone because all the other movies aren't, we don't even know when they're coming out officially. So it's like, it was cool to see this, but for some reason it just left that. It's like, I, yeah, it didn't fulfill my taste. It's like, okay, it was good, but yeah. eh. You and know. you would notice from the trailers, but it's supposed to be like a mix of superhero and, and horror. And I right. felt like it, it didn't know what it wanted to be too. You know, it was very, very... Um, you know, like mixed up too. They should have went one way with it. I agree. Like, I agree. Stuff like that. Um, and then in certain parts where you're like, be a superhero, but they're not. Right. <laughs> well, not. Right. It, right. Like, was like, is this is this a Freddy Krueger movie or is it a superhero movie? And they try to mix it, like you said, but I feel like the blend wasn't as good as it could have been. I will tell you. I don't know if you've seen Glass before. Did you see Glass? Yeah. Yeah. I will tell you certain things that remind me like a, a teenage version of Glass. Yeah. Um, kind of like the setting of the movie as far as the hospital is concerned and them being there and stuff yeah. like that. And the one girl was in Glass. 
she was in Glass. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, 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 definitely. So that's, that's funny. Yeah. Yeah. But but this movie was still way before Glass, even though it came out later. It's crazy. So, yeah. But um, but yeah. So th those are my thoughts. I don't really have much more to say. It's definitely yeah. it's entertaining. Though. I would definitely go see it. Especially yeah. If you want to go to the movies and get out, it's something to watch. Um, also, I thought it was a little short too. The movie. To be honest with you. Yeah, I like agree. An hour yeah. And a half. Yeah, and I also want to just prepare you. It's not, if you think of all the other superhero movies, you can't go into this one like it's going to be the typical superhero movie. I mean, you get that vibe from the trailer, but yeah, but if you, you know, that's something to think about too. Yeah. In my I, opinion. Yeah, I, I think you could tell more that this wasn't a part of the uh, Disney Marvel staple. It was more it was with Sony still right. before, you know, you know when, when it was filmed. And whatnot, and I'm happy they did put it out. Uh, you know, I feel like they don't care how much money it makes because they know people aren't really in the movies right, right. now. But it had to finally get out of the theater, so I'm, I'm happy that I saw it. Um, yeah. I didn't know much about the new mutants because they are in the comics. I don't right. know if you did right. or not, right? Like no, that. not as much, yeah, as much. I don't know which way they kind of you know go in the end of the day, right. but it still has some Easter eggs if you're a comic book fan. I'm sure you'll be able to, yeah, definitely. To pick yeah. Them out within the and movie. also, you definitely want to see it because it's definitely. Uh, seem like it's opening a whole new world. So it's definitely some Easter eggs, like Mike said. You're gonna you're gonna want to see it if you watch comic book movies. So. Yeah. So you want to score it? Yeah, let's score it. All right. Uh, I normally go first. So I keep it with that tradition. So I'm gonna go with because I'm, I'm I'm hard on movies. Uh, so right. I, and I, I use half. So I'm gonna go with a six point five for me. Okay. Um. I was really excited for this. Um. I kept saying that it was going, like the movies this year looked a little dark uh, with this and Morbius and, um, you know, stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm gonna get, I can't give it more than a six. There we go. Yeah, All I'll right. give it a six. And our, and our videographer just read it 5.5, .5, just to let you guys know. Yeah. So. so. What was that movie, the Superman one, that they made him evil? Oh, oh, Brightburn. That we love. They should have did it like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> they should have did it like they did Brightburn. Yeah, yeah, I and agree. it would have been awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it ha I will say yes, she's right. It had potential. The movie had potential, but it just didn't fulfill the potential yes. overall. And I'm, I'm sort of wondering that they not put it out because they didn't think it was good enough. You know, when before the movie was closed. Out. Right, because people are gonna watch it and say, okay, well at least you're giving us something to watch. But if it came out in the height of all these movies, yeah, it would have been definitely not received as well. Probably. Yeah. And I don't know how well it's going to be received yet, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I agree. So, here's our review. Uh, please tune in, like, comment, and subscribe. Yep. And we're going to have a spoiler discussion, which won't be too long, uh, in a, uh, that you'll see also on the channel. Definitely. Guys, thanks a lot. It's Big Mike, Little Ant. Tune in to the rest of the stuff we do. We'll see you in the next one.